Okay guys, this is an unboxing I've been waiting to do for quite some time now. It's my Redgrass Everlasting Wet Palette Studio XL Complete Pack. I ordered this back in December before Christmas. They were sold out. Just got it a couple weeks into January and I've been waiting to do this video so I could get it uploaded to YouTube for you guys to see what comes in the box. Uh, this is a pro miniature painting tool here, it says, by Redgrass Games, designed in Paris by Redgrass. On the back here, it tells us everything that comes in the box. We have our palette, two foam hydration pads, and 50 sheets of acrylic hydration paper. We've got the attachment to the side here, which is the little wells for extra paints or inks or whatever you would like water, the rubber strap to keep the palette from opening if you were to be carrying it in a bag or something from leaking. We have the quick setup guide, we have the care instructions, the dimensions, some exciting language here about what this wet palette will do for your miniature painting skill and take your miniature painting to the next level. It says that right here, a must-have for miniature painting. And I will say that when I introduced the wet palette to my miniature painting was when a big step forward in my painting occurred. I was using trays with wells like this. Um, the paint would dry out so quickly, it was hard to get any kind of session of any uh, panel lining or anything done like that with any um, smoothness to the paint. Then I started introducing paint retarders, things like that. Those have their own set of uh, learning curves and also time that you have to work with them. Um, so I did some searching on YouTube and found the wet palette. Here's the first wet palette that I had used. It's a watercolor palette, got it at my local big box hobby store. It was a nice palette. I used to cut the foam uh, from the Masterson's palettes, the yellow foam they use, cut it to fit these little trays. That was time consuming. I would cut sheets of um, parchment paper. Parchment paper worked well, but again, just to cut it to this size was very time consuming. And I realized to do bigger projects, I am going to need more space than what this provided. So back to the big box ho hobby store I went, and I just went to the Masterson Stay Wet Handy Palette. This palette was very good for me. I've used it up to the day that before I unbox this. I've used it um, quite a while to much success. It really was the thing that took my painting to the next level. You can see I've got my paints on the paper here. Um, under here, under the acrylic paper, you can see the foam. I can get this pulled back. There's your hydration foam. You can kind of see it does kind of wick through the paper if you leave it on there long enough, which I have left paint on here for several days, maybe even going into weeks long. It does get a little gummy, but it stays much longer than anything like this when I was using ever did. This would last you minutes, maybe hours if you added the paint retarder. This is days or weeks for your paint to remain viable, useful, you do want to be careful if you've let it be on here for a couple of days. You can get a little clumpy or little, little chunks in there. So you want to be careful of that before you paint it on your miniature. But these wet palettes are amazing. Definitely the tool you want to use to drastically increase the, the quality of your miniature painting. All right, let's get this thing open and see what comes in the box. Right. So still in its original shrink wrapping. Okay, so here we have our hydration paper, 50 sheets for this size Studio XL Red Grass wet palette. There's the front. Lovely. 
Here is uh, one of our foam pads, another one. And you can see these are already pre-moistened. They have uh, condensation building up inside the inside the plastic wrap here. That's kind of interesting. I went ahead and got them wet for you. All right, it's got the red grass branded stamp down there. I don't know if you guys can see that. On the... And here's our palette. Let's open. It's just a little sticky here. No, don't have to cut that open. Pull it out. All right. You can see the palette has little magnets here. Well, it looks like three sides, so your paint well tray here can just magnetize to the side of that. Does pretty well. Probably will stick better once that shrink wrap is off of there. Here's your elastic band. Fits around here to keep this from opening if you had it somewhere you were carrying it in a bag or something uh, keeps it from opening and making a making a mess <clears throat> let's get that off of there and now to open the pallet right, there it is there's the base of your pallet here is the lid the lid has a rubber gasket going all the way around to give you a nice tight air tight seal pressure and it looks like that will keep your paints viable for quite some time all right well this guys was just the unboxing i will probably do a review of this once i get it up and running um, can't wait to use it like the size of this it gives me a little bit more painting surface than my Masterson's wet palette did. That was one of the reasons I wanted to upgrade to the Studio XL, was just to get a little more room for more paint. So I'm not having to swatch, uh, switch out the paper quite as often. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you like. And I will see you guys again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Wow, 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 wow.